Okay, so I want to show you a little bit about my latest Arduino project. This is using a uh, 65K OLED uh, with the Arduino Uno and SD RAM module. And the display is a 96 pixel by 64 pixel high color display. And I've got uh, approximately uh, 85 images loaded on that. I'm going to do a reset and we can see where it starts. Uh, this is uh, some pictures that I got from Star Trek. Um, seeing a little distortion on the screen from the camera. However, it's uh, due to the synchronization of the camera and the LCD display. The display itself does not show any lines or any, any kind of distortion. So, um, I thought you might be interested in this. Uh, it's a little slideshow program. It's basically Lady Ada's uh, code from Adafruit using her libraries and uh, everything. And I did make uh, a few lines uh, addition to it to pull up these uh, files off the uh, micro SD card. And... Um, display them on this uh, display as you can see it's doing a pretty good job it's um, basically a proof of concept and something could be, could be used in various situations uh, but uh, anyway this was done with the uh, 65k uh, full color card and this card has a 1331 display controller on it. The cheapest uh, OLED display driver uh, display yet actually is the uh, monitor itself or the um, material itself without a driver. Uh, those are very pretty cheap. Uh, when you add the additional circuitry and uh, a display driver. Uh, it drives the price up a bit. This card was like $11. Um, also, you can uh, get one of these cards from uh, Adafruit uh, with a built-in uh, micro SD card on it. Uh, it's a little more expensive, but you don't have to have the external card, uh, which is a big plus. Uh, the next level up you can go to something like 4D systems which has actually has a uh, intelligent controller on board instead of just a simple display controller and uh, it provides like instant changes between images uh, and also can even play video but uh, it's, a, it's a substantially more expensive product uh, than what this one is, was. So anyway, I thought people might be interested in it. Thought I'd make this available if anyone is interested in it. I'm going to have a link with the code, the schematic, the wiring diagram, and uh, any other information uh, that you might need to build this thing up. Um, hope you enjoy. Thanks. So while we're at it, we might as well take a look at the code here. And as you can see, this is the standard um, Adafruit um, program that uh, has the uh, Adafruit uh, libraries included and the SD card libraries included. Uh, right here is the URL for it. And uh, again, those are the libraries. If you scroll down, you see, here's the pins that are the default. Now, uh, some of these can be changed, but um, this is basically in the default configuration as provided by uh, Lady Ada. Uh, and I went in and added a few lines to pull up these uh, Star Trek files. Uh, the name of the Star Trek files is TOS dash with file names 1 through 84. And as you can see there, uh, that code is designed to pull that up with the prefix of TOS dash, the file number, and the .bmp extension. 
and then display them uh, on the screen as you can see it scrolling continuing to scroll uh, on the uh, other side of the screen there uh, but anyway uh, this is uh, how it was done and um, I also will go ahead and put up the uh, schematic and wiring diagram um, all right, and here we have the wiring diagram for the SBI connections for the 65K OLED 1331 with the micro SD module for the Arduino showing the Arduino Uno, which is the one I was using uh, in the video. Uh, the uh, SBI uh, o OLED 64K controller module and the uh, Cal Techs, I'm not sure exactly how that is pronounced, uh, micro SD uh, RAM module and we're, we're seeing uh, at the top of the screen where we've got Arduino pins ground and 5 volts going to ground and 5 volts on the respective uh, two cards and uh, then we've got uh, pin 12 which is MISO which is used for the output for the uh, micro SD card and we got uh, uh, MOSI MOSI which is the uh, input for the video display and the RAM card uh, on the video display it's known as SDA then we got uh, SCK also known as SCL on the video display which goes to pin 13 pin 4 is not used on the OLE display it is used for the chip select on the by default on the uh, RAM module and then we've got pin 9 that's used on the display and not used on the uh, RAM module it goes to RES and we've got 8 which is not used again on the RAM module this goes to DC on the OLED display and finally we've got pin 10 which is clock which is uh, not used on the SD card and is used for the clock on the uh, OLED 64K true color display. Okay, now moving on to the schematic. Uh, basically, it's the same thing as we show on the wiring diagram. This is just a schematic view of the same thing. Uh, one point that I'd like to make this was used uh, or created with the Easy EDA software. It's available online. It's very easy to use, very easy to modify any existing components or create your own. Uh, it's free uh, and I think it's a great product. I believe that uh, anyone who uses this uh, software will be very impressed with it. Uh, it, I have seen a few oddities, but they are constantly working and improving uh, the software, and uh, it's definitely worth the price since it's free, um, and it's, like I said, it's, it's super easy to use. Uh, neither one of these exact modules, the OLED or the RAM module, were available exactly as parts. Uh, so uh, it was easy to load uh, similar parts in and modify them to make them exactly what I needed with the exact terminal designations and, and uh, uh, labeling that I needed to uh, create the schematic. So uh, anyway, if you're into schematic drawings, easy EDA, check it out.